What's up, guys? In last video, we talked about、uh, why we need the beam steering. In this video, I will demonstrate how to steer the beam of an antenna array. I will show you how to conduct this in simulation. Let's、uh, start with a single element patch antenna. Here is the far field of the patch antenna. The gain is around seven dBi, and the beam width is seven. 36 degrees. Then let's have a look of a series connected five-element patch antenna array. The gain is around 14 dBi and the beam width is around 14 degrees. I think you have noticed that that the five-element array has higher gain and a much narrower beam compared with a single antenna because the far field of each antenna is constructively added. In a specific direction, there is a half wavelength between each element. Five elements are seriously connected, so there is a phase difference between each element. But in this case, the phase variation cannot be changed. The phase shift is controlled by the distance between each element. We can move one more step and make a more ambitious design. A one cross five patch array can be regarded as One antenna and four of them consist of a four cross five array. We have noticed that this big array achieved a gain around twenty dBi and a beam width around nineteen degree. We can steer the beam of this large array by changing the phase of each signal injected into each port. Here are two methods to achieve this. The first method is a Setting phase shift for each port, and then run the simulation. But it is a time-consuming. In second method, we can shift the phase of the signal injected into each port after simulation in post-processing. It is a time-saving method. I will show you how to do it. For example, we try to add a 30 degrees phase shift on each port. And you can notice the beam has been shifted. Now let's wrap up. In this video, we first demonstrate the radiation pattern of a patch antenna. Then we series connected five patches, so the array has a constant phase shift. The disadvantage of this topology is that the phase shift cannot be changed once the PCB layout has been fabricated. We also demonstrate a large four cross five array. Finally, we illustrate how to add a phase shift on each port to achieve beam steering in simulation. Thanks for your watching. I hope you have learned something from this video.